Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will go over the steps to upgrade VM version in Hyper-V using both Hyper-V Manager and PowerShell. In Hyper-V, the virtual machine configuration version refers to the version number associated with the configuration schema of a virtual machine. This version number defines how the virtual machine's settings are stored and how Hyper-V manages the VM configuration. Every version is linked to a specific set of features and capabilities. When you create a virtual machine, it's created with the default configuration version. Windows Server 2025 introduced virtual machine configuration version 12.0 in Hyper-V. The newest VM configuration versions aren't able to run on previous host versions and older configuration can run on your host but with limited functionality because newer hosts only provide backward compatibilities. When you move or import a virtual machine to a computer running Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025, the virtual machine's configuration version will not be updated automatically. This means you can move the virtual machine back to a Hyper-V host running an earlier version of Windows or Windows Server. However, this also means you won't be able to use some of the new virtual machine features until you manually update the configuration version. Typically, you can import a virtual machine to a Hyper-V host running a newer version of Hyper-V, but you cannot import a virtual machine created on a newer version of Hyper-V to an older version. If the VM's configuration version is not supported by your Hyper-V host OS, you will either need to upgrade the VM configuration version to a newer one or create a new VM of the same generation using the existing virtual hard disk before you can start the VM. The virtual machine configuration version represents the compatibility of the virtual machine's configuration, saved state and snapshot files within the version of Hyper-V. When you upgrade the configuration version, you modify the file structure used to store the virtual machine's configuration and checkpoint files. Upgraded virtual machines use a new configuration file format designed to enhance the efficiency of reading and writing virtual machine configuration data. The upgrade also minimizes the risk of data corruption in the event of a storage failure. Let's take a look at the lab we will be using in this video. In the previous video, we imported this VM from a Windows Server 2012 R2 Hyper-V host to this Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V host. The Windows Server 2012 R2 Hyper-V VM uses VM configuration version 8.0, while the Server 2025 Hyper-V has the latest VM configuration version 12.0. So after importing the VM with the older version from 2012 R2 Hyper-V, we will upgrade the VM version to the latest version. In this video, we will learn how to manually upgrade the virtual machine version in Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025. This is a one-way process, so you can either perform the upgrade through PowerShell or through Hyper-V Manager. First, we will use the Windows PowerShell method and then we will use Hyper-V Manager to upgrade the VM version. Open Windows PowerShell. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. To manage VM configuration versions effectively, we can use the get-vm host supported version commandlet in PowerShell to view the versions supported by a Hyper-V host. Type the command get-vm host supported version and press enter. Type the command get-vm host supported version hyphen default and press enter. The version 12.0 listed is the default configuration version for a Hyper-V host, which will be used to upgrade the virtual machines. Tap the command get hyphen vm pipe format list name version. Press enter to check the current configuration version of all the VMs present on a Hyper-V host. Check the configuration version of the VM named server1. This VM is currently running version 8.0 and we are upgrading it to version 12.0, the default for Windows Server 2025. Make sure the VM is shut down before proceeding to upgrade its configuration version. Tap the command get-vm server1 and press enter. From the output, we can confirm that the server1 VM is powered off. To upgrade a VM's configuration version, use the update-vm version cmdelete. Type the command update-vm version server1. We can also use the hyphen target version switch to specify the VM version to which we want to upgrade. 
For example, if you want to upgrade the VM version to 10.0, your command would be update hyphen VM version server 1 hyphen target version 10.0. Let's remove hyphen target version switch. Type the command update hyphen VM version server 1 and press enter. Type Y and press enter to proceed with the upgrade. This command will update the virtual machine to the most recent virtual machine version which is 12.0 in our case. Let's run the command get-vm server1. Check the VM version now. It should be 12.0. This means a server1 VM version has now been successfully upgraded to the latest version. If you want to upgrade all VMs present on the local Hyper-V host, use the command update-vm version asterisk. Then press enter to proceed. Let's go back to Hyper-V manager to see the GUI method to upgrade VM version. Right click on server2 and click on Upgrade Configuration Version. If your VM has snapshots, you will see this warning prompt. Don't worry, it will not delete any snapshots or data associated with the snapshot. It will give us a warning message as this will also change the settings of existing checkpoints and modify a few things. Click on Discard Save State and Upgrade. Again check the VM version number. It should now be 12.0. This confirms that the VM version number has been upgraded to the latest version 12.0. This is how we can upgrade the VM version in Hyper-V using both PowerShell and Hyper-V Manager. That's all for this video on how to upgrade virtual machine version in Hyper-V. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.